Good morning, my fellow beautiful people. Good morning. It's Sunday, and I just woke up and read my daily inspiration. You know what I have read? Let me just quickly read for you. It is, keep on loving each other as brothers. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing it, for doing some people have entertained angels without knowing it remember those in prison as if you were their fellow prisoners and those who are mistreated as if you yourself were suffering this is from hebrew chapter 13 verse 1 to 3 this is amazing this is amazing i love it because Guys, I don't have to know you personally for me to bring the content to you. I'm so excited with this inspiration. I love it. By the way, my name is Pelele Kulu. For those who don't know me, those who knows me and subscribe in my channel, I am so grateful. Please, if you are new in this channel and if you see this face for the first time, this person on bird, guys, just please subscribe to my channel I, I i'm i really really appreciate if you do that please share my content please like my videos i am so grateful i'm excited it's sunday and you won't believe what i'm gonna be doing today but before i can tell you more about that let me show you my breakfast it's sunday it's sunday for waffles breakfast oh i'm so excited sunday for breakfast sunday waffles i always have waffles on sunday because it's a relaxed day as much as today is not gonna be so much of a relaxed day before i could read my inspiration i was busy uh, watching Usne Kuku. i'm sure you guys know her she's one of the beautiful beautiful youtuber and i'm about to go to actually see the vlog from bello m from centurion i love i love it i love the content i love how her house looks like oh guys i love i love and i'm gonna have my instant berry from ever life Be Be beverage sorry uh, with a berry proco proco it's for is an immune booster from Herbalife, it's very very nice. So that's why my tea is a little bit darker than normal because I've added two Proco. I will show you what Proco looks like. And um, yeah, this is my breakfast in bed. I love it. I love it. And guys, I'm gonna come back uh, because today it's it's my. Uh, this is this is lunch 21st birthday let me just uh look at you because now i'm i'm looking into my breakfast i'm too excited okay today i will be going to sentin for a lunch a family lunch friends lunch for a 21st birthday of my niece and mm, I will actually come back when I've already been dressed, ready to go. 
probably i would show you what i would be wearing and there's a theme in this lunch you can believe you you won't believe guys there is a theme so you will see what i would be wearing it's not anything formal but yeah it's a nice theme and you will see how i will look hopefully i'll be able to stand up and show you maybe i'll stand up and take a picture and edit on this video because it's like blogging standing and it's still a challenge for now but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna try i'm gonna make sure maybe i'll ask michelle to help me yeah guys let me just indulge my breakfast i'll see you later probably i'll be leaving around 11. now the time is it's still before eight you know as we eat breakfast as early as possible because we believe that breakfast is the most important meal of the day so yeah it's to some people it might be early for me my breakfast is actually late today i normally have my breakfast even before eight or it's actually before eight but around half past seven i'll be eating my breakfast because normally it's a shake so but on sunday because it's a relaxed a little bit day and i would then have my waffles and my waffles from herbalife if you want to know about how i do my uh, lower calorie waffles and i eat them on every sunday and i'm not worried about uh, getting fat i can share that uh, receipt or showing you as i prepare it so guys i don't know what am i doing i actually this youtube has taught me that i always want to wipe wipe my nose i don't know and i don't like it i don't like it <laughs> but at least maybe because i'm aware now that i'm doing it i'm not gonna do it as much as because in all my vlog i always go i go like, why am i doing this oh guys i don't like it okay guys i don't want to waste your 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 time by just talking about hmm, things that are not even making sense to you but okay this is a banana very soon it's eight now i'm gonna start preparing for myself around half past nine and then probably around 11 we'll be leaving so we'll see you at when i'm ready when i'm ready to go <laughs> i hope i'll be every i'll be able to vlog the the, the the lunch and but i will definitely i will i will take you through even if i won't be i will mute all maybe because i didn't tell my niece that probably i'll be vlogging but i will tell her before we start nah all right see you later hey family hey you see your girl your girl with a uh, short hair uh -uh. Now, Gelly, Usama, we can't need Upaga Ama. Your hair, Tiwe, na aye. In Chalilla, nothing is unconvinced. I go to Giza, look at how. And I'm looking at how. Ah, I'm so excited, guys. We are leaving. I'm late. Uh, but I have my back with my phones. And yeah, I took a picture. I'm gonna put it on this vlog so that you see how I look. Oh, guys. Let's go, let's go. Last time, Vinny came and just said, Empty Vinny. Yeah, we are getting late because our meeting, our lunch is supposed to be at 12. But we are still on the road. It's now 20 past 12 and we are still passing St. Chirion. Yes. But you will see. I can't wait. 
people are coming in. Miss Patty giving me so good. She's still busy, busy with the makeup. Definitely. Yes, so. Bam. I just met one of my subscribers. Please, please, please introduce yourself. Hi, guys. I'm Lenette Mugoma. Subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Oh, yes. Oh, guys. You see now. I just meant that uh, Ulelet is also having a, a, a YouTube channel. I'm going to also subscribe. So please subscribe to Lelet's to to Le, to Le, to Le, to, uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> ne? Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Day. It's the beginning of great things for you. Uh, Good afternoon, everybody. I'm sure you can hear me. I know that I've learned to project because I was an actor, so even if I'm sitting down, you guys can hear me, right? <laughs> wow. This is a big step. This is a big platform that I'm given in this moment. For me to speak for the Kulus, this is too much. It's <laughs> for so the first time that I see myself speaking on behalf of the Kulu families. But anyway, maybe I'm old enough to speak because um, I just want to say uh, congratulations, Ta. This is what this is Zulu says. When I speak Zulu to English, guys, you must just understand. I'm just gonna speak Sisuta, I'm gonna speak Zizulu, I'm gonna speak English, even I'm not, I'm not even perfect in all of those languages. But I'm here to say thank you so much for inviting us to celebrate this day because, guys, those are the two names of Ustandile, Usbusisiwe and Ustandile. So Ukulukulu Usbusisi, let's see. Put Ustandile and Ugutisiwe and Alembali, let's see Bona today. Guys, I can just give you a, a brief of the things that when I, I re, when my sister told us that we're going to have this celebration, the first thing that I thought about the things that I actually, I started thinking about a lot of things that Usta uh, did as he was growing up. The first thing that was as I'm, I'm, I'm old as I am, but I was like, there was. A, let, let's talk about the the first thing that is actually intrigued or actually asked myself, what is what is the kind of a person is this? Because she's so young. Tell when she was going to a first interview for her uku grade one one, and then I asked, how was it? What did they say? And then he was able to tell me about the five people at the panel. I think one of the people was Pote, was Pote I remember that because I was like amazed. How can a person is not even yet at school, he's about just to get to grade one. And she knows, she told me about all the questions that they asked and he told me what, he, how he responded for those questions. I was like, oh no, this is amazing. I've never ever thought. That's another thing that I also remembered was about, I'm sure you know 30 seconds, guys. <laughs> there was a <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the 30 seconds that we can play now as old as we are. I'm talking about when, uh, I think I remember I was, I was having, uh, it, was, it was two teams, it was me and Mina, uh, the team was me and Star, and then there were two other people who were, yes, there were two uh, older people who were in the other team. So now I'm in the team with Star. Now I have to explain as to, there was a point when I wanted to, I wanted him to, I wanted her to say, did, did you rent? So now I'm thinking, I don't think that she has ever even seen the, the roll on. Written like deodorant, deodorant. I'm like, 
and I was so shocked to answer that. I think she was she was seven years of age, if I'm not. Yes. Yeah. I was so shocked. I was like, mm -mm -mm. I didn't believe that she could answer that because it was. I don't think that at that time she was using even roll on. I was just asking her that. Do you know those words? It's a long one. You will always find it in the in the roll on and then set the order and oh my god. But I was excited because at least he answered. And then I also remember how she was, um, she used to imitate uh, Ustu Mo. <laughs> and because Mina, I love acting. So I loved how I would tell her they'd go out and then you must open the door and come in. And then I would take uh, the video and then she would be narrate all these, all these things that are being done in that. Uh, and she was very young, but doing that. So I'm so excited today to see how she has grown and how much she has achieved. And guys, it's not you, in a, in our family. In all in all families, you'll you'll always have one genius. And our genius is this one, guys. She gave, gave us this genius, and I'm so excited to have her. As, she's no longer my, my niece. She's now 21, so she's my friend. So we can talk. <laughs> but all I'm saying is that, guys, I'm so happy to be here, and I'm so happy for you. I'm very excited yeah. to be here. There's so many things that I could share about you, about you, your, how you have been growing up a, a good girl that you are but i'm so excited to be here thank you so much for the opportunity so that doesn't come you know sitting down you know. um yeah and i'm i'm i feel honored and privileged to have seen you grow i can't believe you used to be the girl that used to sleep next to me <laughs> when we were <laughs> I always drink strawberry jacaray, but today I'm my granila jacaray. And it's so nice, guys. It's so nice. I'm trying. And I actually met her like on Twitter. Because I like meat 
And then she was like, I only eat chicken. And I was like, why did you say we can come get this fried meat though? But having time in my life, I always feel blessed. She's someone who always grounds me a lot. Um, you know, it's her, at some point I'll always be like launching her. But in everything, she'll be like, no dude, it's time to go home now. No dude, let's just stay home now. But it's time to go home now. I'm always so, you know, astonished by how much she is focused as for rain. Because at times, um, I think of them, do you want me to go But yeah, and she'll be like, nah, it's time to work now, like do the schoolwork. Um, last year particularly, I remember going through such a tough time and I said, Ta, you know, we have exams soon and I don't think I'm going to make it. And she was like, no, don't worry, I'll, I'll come to you and we'll keep studying every day. And yeah, I think without Star during that period in my life, I might have never ever passed those exams. But in everything, she kept grounding me, she kept reminding me to study. And I'm so proud of Star because she is so smart. Like, she's smart. Like, she's the only person who wants to study to PhD. I was like, mm, you be safe. <laughs> Call you Dr. Zigalala, you know, we'll be like, she's the doctor friend. And I'm so proud of you, son, everything you do, and you do it so well. I think you are you are one of those perfectionists that aren't very overbearing, but we all know that she's a perfectionist. Like, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. <laughs> but yeah, I love you so much. I feel so blessed to have you in my life. Um, you really understand me and I always say that it's so amazing to find like a soulmate and a friend. Um, having time in my life, I was like, oh my God, you know, you can be so grateful and so fulfilled by friendship and that you wouldn't even need, you know, more outside of that. I don't want to cry, so <laughs> God bless you so much, Ta. You know, I'm a young in I'm playing it and you just keep thriving. Aww. Thank you, love. Thank you, thank you for that. Then it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next, oh. the, the next is Tino Ten. Hey. Like, I don't want problems. Tino is so giant. You're next, sweetie. She wants you next. Come on. You know, I'm a little bit shy, but I just want to say happy birthday, and I want to second everything that Lenny said. Like you're always there for us. Like if you need anything, you can always call her, and she will always. And I remember the other. And um, you've been, been through a lot together, friend. Like I don't know, guys, where to start, but we've been through a lot. Like yeah, no, I'm not gonna get into detail, but like we really been through a lot together. And and you've always been. adjusting with change and moving from Durban to Joburg. So when you find out Wootsy, you're, you're sharing the space with the cool girl, the beautiful one. First of all, the first time I walked into DH, I was late. It was a week, I walked into DH, it was a Sunday. Um, everybody had moved in on the Saturday night at Res, And I walked in 
And I was like, oh, you know, that girl's so pretty. She's probably a mean girl. Mm. <laughs> and I was like, okay, let me sit with everybody else but her. Let me avoid her. <laughs> then we just started singing, Sasya Pume DH. And she was like, hey, where do you live? And I was like, I live at 13 or 5 She was like, you're my neighbor. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> then she taught me how to scam. Ironic that you said Lele to the scam. You're a scam. So then we started, we started this thing of scamming Uber Eats. You are This is one more time. No mamma ng betang fagela in it, I get manjo so far easy. Nah, again, Ziwa began to have a decision. I absolutely love you and appreciate you for that. It's my startup. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm not talking. Oh, yes, you are. No. I just like to. Before thanking the parents, because without your parents, you wouldn't be here. Because without the parents, you wouldn't be here. But most importantly, when I every day for knowing me. If it wasn't for your brother who walked in through the door and said, "Hey, stars coming," and I was like, "Huh?" And ever since we became friends over that. So no Lucy Ambonga. And I thank the rest of the family and the friends for grooming her to become this beautiful person. But most importantly, I thank yourself. I want to thank you for being you. I've never been loved so unconditionally by a stranger. Um, and 21 is merely a number. It is a huge milestone to achieve, but I think when you're constantly remembering the fact that it's merely just a number, that also allows for you to not change your outlook on life, to not change yourself. Um, because I think that you're going to go through so many different phases in life that are going to want to reshape you and remold you. Sometimes it's something that you are not. Sometimes it's something that you are not even aware of, right? But because of the way in which the world works, 
you are going to go become a young employee you're going to go become a young woman either in business or like in academia or in so many others you're going to exist in so many other spheres that are going to require of you to change but just stay true to you stay true to him from the source as as a stay true to what has gotten you here because it's going to get you further um i think also it's always important to remain grounded um and i i always used to say this you know when i was still in varsity which no matter how broke i could be i must be able to have 24 to anchor myself because it's so important to remember what grounds you it's so important to always go back to the root of your existence because like i said you're going to go through so many challenges you're going to go through so many you're going to meet different people some are going to like you and some aren't going to like you and you just always need to go back home like go back to that point of comfort go back to your safe spot um your safe spot um and always remember that to your parents you'll always be their little girl and they'll never stop prioritizing you so in a world where there's so much expected of you in a world where you have to deliver on school and work and 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 going home is literally going to be you choosing yourself again and you pouring into you because you are so fortunate that Abba Zalbako are there throughout all your phases of life and they are constantly pouring into who you are and don't think that now that you're 21 and they might say okay welcome to adulthood <laughs> She never liked it until I explained to her why she called Sitan because she came after uh, two miscarriages and then we were blessed with Sitan. Pelele uh, spoke of, most of you spoke about Ukshagani Pakasta. Usta before she went to crash in a three. I'm going to share these stories. <laughs> <laughs> So we went a year before to, to check his body. So when we got there, Bam Kumba around the classroom. So this this so I said to Stan, do you see where you're going to study next year? Stan was like, so the teacher was, does she understand English? I'm like, yes, she does. <laughs> it's she does an an, a little bit. Yeah? It's an age of? It's an age of almost three. Three. And then I had what's had this laptop that will say, How do you spell the word balloon? Yeah. And then this star will go B A F. And then when you mama no mama's at it. So that's how smart she's B. And then I was told when a Pume crash, I escolated, they said she's never gonna struggle at school. And she never struggled. And for that we are grateful, and for that we feel very blessed. So, sir, as okay, as a shirobuti, it's a number. I think from my side, before I give you the key, this, this, no, it's not there. Oh, the symbol of a key. But as your parents, there is. One story that I would like to give to you. You've had me giving this story to other people. Today I'm giving it to you because I feel that it's very relevant. Uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, the pencil. Uh, the story is about a pencil. They say when the pencil maker made a, made a pencil, what we pencil go out there in the world. There are five things that you'll be able to do. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much, uh, family, uh, friends, everyone else. I believe it's just family and friends. I have a feeling that some of you might have stolen my ideas. <laughs> In the process, uh, I can show you some of my notes here. It's almost everything that you guys have said in terms of uh, how star is, what star does, and so on. And so on. so uh, I'm not really going to you know repeat what, what, what you've said. No matter star, I love you so much. You know, you. And 
before I okay, before we anyway, give over uh, to mom again, uh, I just want to also say uh, our village not, cannot forget this. I want to say uh, uh, happy birthday, uh, happy belated birthday also to my son, Lucy. So in, in engineering terms, Hello. it's what we call it. <laughs>
Uh, you guys know how much I love my dad. <laughs> it's, you see that everyone knows. I'm always saying, <laughs> I love my dad. It's like, even from very young, in, uh, in school, primary school. Hey, who's that? We have time to go back and then we know. And you know, my friends are talking about their cousins. It's like, my dad's the best. And I, I feel so unashamed. He's like, you my dad did this, but I'm like, oh, my dad's the best. My dad's the best guy in the whole wide world. I don't know about your dad. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just really have really great parents. I have really great sub-parents. My aunts, they're such wonderful people. Like, my fees are not getting messy if it wasn't for you. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I know every scene off by heart. Do you guys want me to recite it for you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, who's day? Who's do more? I think my creativity definitely, my creative influences came from my aunt, um, who is playing uh, apparently. <laughs> I got it from my aunt. No, I'm sorry. <laughs>
Wow. Yes, Carl. Thank you. That's what I can say. Location. That's it, lad. My second drink. We about toast. The cake is gonna yeah, guys. Yo, what? We'll be not to make room to let wait. Cheers to you, genius.